Hey guys, welcome to the vote video. As mentioned in a couple of the previous Everton career mode episodes, today you'll be able to vote on which career mode I do next here on the channel. We've got an Ultimate Team series starting in the next 24 hours or so. I think you'll be seeing this Saturday afternoon. So tomorrow at lunchtime, it's going to be a brand new Ultimate Team series starting. The My Player is continuing on and the Everton career mode is coming to a close in the next couple of days with regards to the uploads on the channel. So... I need to know what to replace it with. In the description down below, you'll find a link to a Twitter vote where you can vote on what you think should be the next series. I'm going to go through uh, each of the clubs here, give you just a little short synopsis, a, thought, a short idea of what I have in mind for those teams. And then you can take that knowledge. Head over to the Twitter vote. Obviously, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well and, uh, and vote on the poll. And we will see what, come, we will see what comes out on top. We've obviously done Everton to start us off, so we've done the Premier League, so I'm going to lean away from doing a Premier League career mode, although one of the options might end up in the Premier League career mode, and I'm sure the majority of you are fully aware of what that one very may well be, and it is Cambridge United. They set as my default team on FIFA, and they are the side that I would like to do a Road to Glory series with at some point in FIFA 17. I'm going to have Cambridge United on this vote, as well as three other larger top flight teams. If you vote for one of the top flight teams, then the Cambridge United Road to Glory series will follow that series. Unless, of course, you want that series now, in which case one of the three top flight teams will follow this series. You get the gist. So uh, it's either a top flight team and then Cambridge, or Cambridge and then a top flight team. So uh, as you can see, in League 2, I did a Road to Glory series with them on FIFA 15, back when the channel only had about 30,000 subscribers. It was pretty popular, you guys really enjoyed it. It took a while to get going. It definitely got more popular as we headed into the like fourth and fifth season onwards. And uh, obviously, not as many people are interested in League 2 football, but once we got to the Premier League and then into Europe, etc., it picked up a bit of steam. So uh, that would be the plan again if I was to, uh, if this particular one was to win the vote this time around. I'd do at least five or six seasons at Cambridge United. Obviously, I'd want to get into the Premier League and then compete in the Premier League and then compete in Europe at the highest possible level in the Champions League. So uh, depending on how long it takes me to get to that stage with Cambridge would be how long it would take for this series to continue on for a minimum say league two promotion league one promotion championship promotion first season in the premier league qualify for europe say europa league qualify for champions league play in the champions league so maybe six or seven seasons maybe more it uh, depends on how successful we are throughout this uh save should you select for me to be uh start at Cambridge United. As you can see, the transfer budget is about a million pounds. Domestic success is the most important. Obviously, very low continental success. We're in League 2. Not going to be very important. Brand exposure quite low. Financial and youth development also low. Although, I would very much concentrate on the youth. I concentrate on free... So because, obviously, money, money is at a premium right now uh, in the lower leagues. I'd concentrate on the youth setup and I'd concentrate on... Uh, free agents if I were to take over at Cambridge United. That's the first option. There are three other options. Like I say, we've done top flight in England. The next one would be top flight in Germany. And the option there is, when we get to them, Bayer Leverkusen. Not the strongest team in Germany. Not a Wolfsburg, not a Borussia Dortmund, not a Bayern Munich, not a Schalke. It's Leverkusen. They have a decent squad with a couple of players that uh, you're, we're familiar with from... Uh, my content already so far this year, most notably Hakan Chalanolu. Uh, you guys saw how influential he was for me in the third season at Everton, and uh, it would be a chance to use him again if we were to uh, to take over at Bayer Leverkusen. £35 million budget seems like a lot, but at the end of the day, with inflated prices in career mode, matching you know inflated prices in real life, £35 million actually isn't that much. High domestic and high youth development expectations from the board, medium continental success and low brand exposure and financial. So this one, as with all of the top flight uh, series, would be similarly to the Everton one, two to three se uh, seasons long, probably three with someone like Leverkusen and uh, maybe a little, you know, one season less or more, depending on uh, what you guys think of the other options that I'm going to throw to you. But the Bundesliga option is Bayer Leverkusen. Obviously have, like we say, a decent squad to start off with. Made a couple of signings in real life in uh, the summer transfer window, so the squad is a little bit stronger than it was on FIFA 16, most notably the introduction of Kevin Volland as, uh, as a striker slash forward player, who was someone that we looked into in the Everton series, but ultimately decided not to go with. Moving on from Germany, we head into Italy. 
the Serie A or Calcio A option that uh, I would give you is a side that's actually a little bit bigger, well, not even a little bit, a lot bigger than, uh, than Bayer Leverkusen, it would be Roma. They're obviously one of the larger sides in uh, Serie A. And again, though, similar level of budget at 34.5 to £35 million. Pounds. Critical domestic success, though. High continental and brand exposure and low financial and youth development expectations from the board. Roma, obviously, well, Juventus, obviously, have been completely destroying Serie A for the past five or six seasons, as have Bayern Munich in, uh, in Germany, although Dortmund did have a season or two not too long ago where they, they challenged that. But Roma have finished second a couple of times recently and they've actually been on the up, although they did lose Miralem Pjanic, of course, to Juventus in the summer transfer winner. So we would be without one of the better mid, uh, former players at Roma. But they have a couple of great youth prospects. They have obviously some established talent, most notably Rajan Angolan, who's currently in form on Ultimate Team, uh, as we uh, as you see this video. So uh, Roma would be the option from Italy. Again, two to three seasons, depending on how successful we were or weren't in that respect. And uh, that's the option from Italy. So you've got Roma, Bayer Leverkusen, or a road to glory. And then, as you might expect, the fourth and final option is from La Liga. And not going to be someone like Atleti or Real or Barca or even Valencia. I did Valencia last year, actually, although only for one season because I completely changed up the content I was putting out on the channel. But the side that uh, I would throw to you from La Liga is Sevilla. They won the Europa League three years in a row, of course, but have kind of stereotypically been a selling club. They sold Carlos Baca. They sold Jesus Navas. They sold Ivan Rakitic. Players that you'd want to keep at Sevilla if we were to take over. They've, they've made a couple of good signings, most notably with Sam Ben Yedo, who's a player that I've adored playing with an ultimate team so far this year. So I'd be keen to play with him if you select Sevilla as the team that you might like me to play with. £30 million is the transfer budget. So the smallest of the three larger teams, but obviously still infinitely bigger than the one at Cambridge United. High domestic success, high brand exposure, high youth development, critical financial as well. Not something I've experienced yet on FIFA 17 career mode, a critical financial expectation. And medium continental success. They are in the Champions League to, uh, to start things off, of course, because they won the Europa League last year. So they start in the Champions League this year. So we'd be starting in Europe and they're... Arguably the fourth or fifth best side in Spain. You've got Atleti, Barcelona and Real Madrid. And then you've got play t uh, teams like Sevilla. Arguably Athletic Bilbao, maybe, if they have a, a good season. And um, teams like Villarreal that are kind of pushing to break into that top three, but don't really seem to be able to do it in real life. So perhaps we could do it on FIFA 17. So there are four options. You've got Sevilla in La Liga. You've got Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. You have Roma in Serie A and Cambridge United in League Two for a Road to Glory series. Two or three years with Sevilla, similarly with Roma, similarly with Leverkusen, or it would be at least five or six seasons with Cambridge United, if not more, should you vote for the Road to Glory series. There is, like I say, an Ultimate Team series starting tomorrow, which is also a Road to Glory series. So uh, I'm, I don't know whether you'd want to see two Road to Glory series on the channel at the same time. Obviously, one would be Ultimate Team, one would be Career Mode. But that's why well, I always put my series to a vote anyway. But uh, yeah, that's the situation. The Ultimate Team series starting tomorrow is a Road to Glory series. But hopefully you guys will very much enjoy. I'm really looking forward to getting some Ultimate Team on the channel. So uh, yes, follow the link in the description to the Twitter vote. Have your say. Let me know in the comment section which way you voted. Obviously, there's no point putting in the comment section, I think you should do this team, says, because I've already selected four teams that I want you to vote for. I'm not going to take any other suggestions on board. Let me know in the comment section which way you voted. Let me know on Twitter which way you voted. Follow me on Twitter. You'll uh, The link will take you to the uh, Twitter poll. And hopefully, over the course of the weekend, you guys can uh, help me decide which team to play with. Obviously, as was the case with the Everton career mode, whichever team you select, I will buy the jersey for and I will wear that top in the videos. It might take a couple of days for the top to arrive, so the opening couple of episodes might actually be just normal t-shirts as they were with the Everton one because that one took uh, a little bit longer to arrive as well. But I would like to wear the uh, the shirt of the team that I'm playing with on uh, on camera for the, uh, the face cam things. Something I could potentially do actually, just random brainstorm, with Ultimate Team, Maybe I could, well, it depends how frequently I would change kit, I suppose, but maybe I could, on camera in Ultimate Team, buy the kit of the team's kit that I'm using in Ultimate Team and maybe wear that on camera in that series as well. I'll, I'll mention that in the second episode because I've already recorded episode number one of that Road to Glory, but 
something to bear in mind. I'm sure I'll ask you guys on Twitter about that anyway and get gauge some response there. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Like I say, drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that little notification button as well so that you don't miss out on anything. This series will be starting very soon. The Everton Career Mode series will be ending very soon. And the Ultimate Team series will be starting tomorrow. And my player will continue on from Tuesday. The Ultimate Team series tomorrow will take the place of the 12pm my player upload. But moving forward, it won't take place of any other series. It will be scheduled in as and when I find time for it. It's not going to be... I'm not adding it to the schedule as such for a regimented time. I'm just putting it out whenever I can find the time to make it. Which hopefully will be quite regularly. But we'll just have to wait and see. But for now... Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section and have your vote on the Twitter link in the description. And I'll see you next time.